This topic today is golf and leadership. When I look at leadership, uh, I've looked at a vast number of definitions out there and tried to try to decipher what is the best one I could find. And, and all of these things, when you really, really grind all that stuff down, it's about influence. Everything is about influence. Part of influence as it relates to golf is, what is it we're trying to influence? Well, the golf ball is ultimately the tool we're working with. We're trying to work with different types of employees, we'll say. They're different, some are scuffed up, some are brand new. This is our focus today, is gonna to be the golf ball. So, the first part is the, is the preparation aspect. Tell me, what does preparation mean? First thing was, we have to have the right tools, right? So in golf, what do we need? Obviously, the first thing we need is clubs. We gotta have shoes, gotta have ball. So now maybe we need some lessons, maybe read a couple books, watch a couple videos. So all of these things that we're talking about prepare us to play a good game of golf. Let's now talk about leadership. If we're gonna talk about preparing for leadership, what are the things that we're doing to prepare ourselves to be leaders? Do we read books? Do we go to seminars? Do we have coaches, mentors? Do we watch others lead? follow some of those examples, or not. Okay, so there's that correlation we can make then. We can say that in order to play a good golf game, we have to prepare ourselves, and to be good leaders, we have to prepare. Okay, so the next step then is the translation to application. We go out to the range, we swing a few, and we warm up, right? Okay, what is it we do at this point? I have to know where we're going. Part of the application of playing golf much like leadership, is where are you taking people? So I have to know where we're gonna go. I have to take into consideration all the environmental issues that I'm gonna be facing between this tee box and that green. The aspect of leadership is very much the same. I'm gonna to try to take an employee from point A to the visionary point of point B. I've gotta get this person to agree and believe in the fact that we need to go from here to there, and then I've gotta apply strategies, skills, and techniques in order to get them there. Finally, we just decide to get to the swing. Every swing has a process behind it. We call that consistency. Leadership has an aspect of consistency. People have aspects of inconsistency. In leadership, how consistent are you? The ultimate success for me is, if I do these things consistently, and I have the right equipment, and I've done my homework, and I've prepared, that when I finally get to the green, and I tap that little ball in that cup, I've reached the mission. I've reached my goal. Well, here's the downside with it. You've only played one hole. you still got a whole bunch left to play. Leadership is a perfect game played by imperfect people. And we're hoping for the best. Quit hoping. Go make it happen. Go be the best. God bless you. I appreciate your time. Thanks.